Dietary trends will always exist, continuously changing our beliefs and food choices in its most minute manner. And one of the staple foods in the entire world, rice, has been subjugated to such a change. In this case, the popularity of brown rice has risen over the years, possibly replacing its traditional white rice counterpart. Touted for its health benefits and supposed aid in weight loss versus white rice, brown rice's claim for fame isn't much different from the usual trendy superfood that pops up from time to time. But is it a truly worthy replacement, or like most of the time, it's just an unnecessary change? First, in a structural sense, the difference between white and brown rice is its refinement. Rice is actually the seed of the grass species Oryza sativa, and it contains multiple pieces and layers. When refined, white rice removes all but one part of the seed, the endosperm. Brown rice, however, only removes the outermost layer of the seed, the hull, leaving behind the endosperm along with part of the on, the bran, and the germ. And it's these remaining pieces that supposedly provide beneficial sustenance that is non-existent in white rice. In a macronutrient standpoint, the extra pieces provide brown rice 40% more protein and twice as much fiber. However, it's still not that much overall, at only 5 grams of protein and 3.5 grams of fiber per cup. When it comes to micronutrients though, brown rice certainly seems superior to its white rice counterpart. But brown rice also contains the anti-nutrient phytic acid. Phytic acid is considered an anti-nutrient because it binds to minerals in the digestive tract, which greatly reduce its absorption rates. Research has shown that this can affect absorption of crucial minerals such as zinc, iron, and magnesium. One research even found that a diet consisting of brown rice reduced protein digestion more so than white rice. And even though brown rice contains more minerals, the study also found that mineral levels were the same in both brown and white rice diets. On top of this, it's quite common in the market to find white rice that is enriched with the nutrients that were removed during refinement, which negates the potential nutrient benefit of brown rice. One thing you should keep in mind though is that both white and brown rice contain high levels of inorganic arsenic, a compound toxic to the body, especially for children and pregnant women. Regular high consumption of inorganic arsenic can increase risks of bladder, lung, and skin cancer, as well as heart disease. Ironically, the quote, healthier brown rice contains roughly 80% more arsenic than white rice. Fortunately, you can reduce arsenic levels dramatically by thoroughly washing your rice before cooking and cooking it in a 6 to 1 water to rice ratio. So far, it might sound pretty bad for brown rice, even though we're told it's supposed to be dramatically healthier. But there is one thing that brown rice might hold over white rice, and that is its effect on diabetes. In one meta-analysis, white rice was associated to increasing risk of diabetes by 11% for each daily serving consumed. Conversely, brown rice was associated with a 16% decreased risk of diabetes, especially when replacing white rice consumption. Much of this is believed to be explained by the difference in glycemic loads, the effect a food has in increasing blood sugar levels. White rice sits at a moderately heavy 29 on the GL, while brown rice is at a respectable 16. If you're already at risk of diabetes, then switching to brown rice does make a bit of sense. Finally, when it comes to fitness goals, you simply have to look at its macronutrient breakdown. As discussed, neither are great sources of protein, which means it probably wouldn't be the first thing to consider when building muscle or strength. However, they are high in carbohydrates, which can provide you energy. Also, as like most carb foods, they are extremely calorie dense and simple to eat at a high amount. That means neither are great for weight loss, but can be beneficial for bulking. So after all this discussion, who wins the overall battle? And fighting against my urge to say, it depends, quite honestly, the answer is more closely defined as a draw. Undoubtedly, the differences between the two exist, but much of it has little impact, especially on healthy populations. 
Unless you're at risk of certain ailments like diabetes, then looking at the big picture of your entire diet along with exercise is much more important than choosing the color of your rice. Perhaps the best option for you is to choose the one you simply enjoy eating the most, then consider their benefits and their drawbacks. Sorry food fad lovers, there's nothing to see here. Share your thoughts on the rice race below. Was I rice about the results or does one actually rice above the other? Let me know. As always, thank you for watching.